Day shopping, maybe you can definitely get weather anytime through our WJM and local three app and also online at upmatters.com. Also on the social media side, there'll be weather updates throughout the weekend on WJM and local three or on WJM and TV on Facebook and at Tom Kippen on Twitter. Local three radar network is showing some light snow moving across portions of the western UP. Light being the key word as we take you off towards the west, we do see the bulk of the snow that is picking up the pace and by I mean picking up the pace it's really not producing much in the way of snow but it's sliding through western Wisconsin from just south of Superior Wisconsin and Duluth Minnesota and headed towards the Green Bay area and we're not looking at much in the way of any snowfall or even snow for that matter, but a few snowflakes could fly for the overnight hours. Speaking of flying, the winds are going to be picking up as we go into the nighttime hours on Saturday into Sunday. The Weather Service has put a gale warning in effect for the Lake Michigan waters, and with that strong south to southwesterly wind driving in the higher Great Lake waters, the higher Great Lake water levels. That means we're potentially looking at some lakeshore flooding along the Lake Michigan shoreline and the Weather Service has gone ahead and issued a lakeshore flood advisory for the Lake Michigan shoreline for Schoolcraft County. So just be aware we could see some lakeshore flooding and maybe some beach erosion if you live along the Lake Lake Michigan shoreline for along Schoolcraft County. All right, let's take a look at the winds here. The winds not too bad tonight, maybe a few wind gusts. Tomorrow morning not even looking too bad, but as we head into Saturday afternoon into Saturday evening, that's when we're going to start to see the winds pick up the pace and then check out these wind gusts tomorrow night, maybe gusting over 30, maybe over 35 miles per hour out of the south to southwest. Those gusty winds will continue on into Sunday morning and then Sunday Sunday afternoon. I do think we get a break from the wind, but then as north winds start to take over, we'll start to see some gusty colder winds Sunday night out of the north to northeast. So here's our local three future cast in terms of precipitation. You can see any snow that falls tonight will be light tomorrow. Maybe a rain shower or a snow shower can't be ruled out. Otherwise, during the day, it's clouds and at times maybe some sunshine, some snow, maybe some rain, a rain snow mix or an icy mix, albeit light possible tomorrow tomorrow night and then for Sunday we'll have a chance of some rain showers or snow showers once again albeit on the light side or maybe an icy mix and then as we go into Sunday night our snow chances will be there but anything from now till about Sunday night should be on the light side and shouldn't add up to much different story though as we go in the next week we get into the milder air as we look at the milder temperatures in the northern plains head this way for Saturday but as we go into Sunday Sunday, we're going to see an area of low pressure spin on up across the central plains and head this way for Monday. Widespread snow is expected across upper Michigan, so get the snow shovels and snow blowers ready for Monday. Behind this storm system, an Arctic high pressure builds on into the northern plains and moves through the Great Lakes region, and that's going to bring us some very cold temperatures as we go into the middle of next week. With that in mind, four temperatures tonight, they're as cold as they're going to be right now. Team some spots of single digits. Temperatures should be in the teens to the lower 20s by tomorrow morning. And then as we go into tomorrow, temperatures will be in the 30s for Marquette and Marquette County. And then temperatures starting to take a nosedive for the later part of Monday and then into the middle of next week. And you're going to notice these colder temperatures and definitely winter like. So have the layers ready to go and the heavy winter weather gear ready to go, especially as we get towards Tuesday and also Wednesday. High temperatures, single digits possibly especially for some inland areas west of Marquette or the teens low temperatures at night starting I'd say Tuesday night and going on into Wednesday and also Wednesday night on into Thursday away from the shorelines of the Great Lakes will drop below zero. You can always get your latest weather forecast on our website.